Hi Pisces. Transforming into fiery independence. That is what is coming through here. We have a twin flame situation for those who resonate, but your astrology card underneath is Pluto. Your ability to transform, take a big leap forward and rebirth. So however difficult emotionally you are feeling right now, just know that as we've seen in your last reading, it is actually a beautiful time because it is in those times when we are really struggling with, you know, addictive behaviors, codependency, attachment issues, abandonment issues that's coming on strongly with the second chakra, Archangel Ariel here. As we are faced with still the lingering fears, subconscious sensitive responses that we have to triggers, to people, to specific relationship here, it is in those moments that we go beyond ourselves. When we are so overwhelmed that we surrender to a higher force beyond the unknown, the not known. And we get out of the boredom and discontent of our life. Again, it is a perception. You can see here behind his back, there are colors. It's vibrant. There's life. There's a castle. It's abundant. But he is looking down into the darkness. <coughs> and talking about communication. You have the throat chakra here. And just know that communication could be hard at this time. Misunderstanding, misunderstandings could happen. Speaking your truth could be hard, but you need to gather up the strength to get into your truth, your independence, especially in a in very intense relationship or situationship like the twin flame journey. You got the moon and the 12th house. The moon, your unconscious, sensitive inner emotions and responses. The 12th house, this is the area of your life that is overwhelming. You yield to greater cause or power. And this is your house, Pisces, the last house. We are the last sign of the zodiac. Now this is why we come into this incarnation with so many difficult situations to go through because we're meant to go higher, to awaken to the truth, to awaken to the fact that we are a spiritual being first, that we are this consciousness. And this is just a vehicle. And so this vehicle in this three-dimensional field needs to go through what it needs to go through, all the lessons it needs to go through. But when you know and remember that you're not this, that as you go, the two, uh, <laughs> as you go uh, through this transformation, you are a spirit being first. So you can witness, you can see with calm and serenity what is going on. You can feel all of it, but still know and be in this space that we always talk about on this channel, Pisces, that is neutral, that is zero, that is full of love, of life, and of possibilities, and of magic, and of manifestation of miracles. Once you get into that, and you practice this focus, not easy, but it's a practice, you can go through all of it. And now is a sensitive time you are asked to heal the star and get into the emperor mode, Aries energy, to get into your own sense of individuality, which is so hard for Pisces because Pisces is, you know, your boundaries are very malleable, very flexible. <clears throat> you can adapt to anything. Your mutable sign, the last one. And so, for you to get into a sense of yourself, not in an egoic way, but of presence, 
of you being able to do things by yourself alone and not feeling lonely, which is very different, not feeling abandoned, but feeling full of power at the top of your game, the emperor. This is what is being asked of you right now, especially in the midst of a particular relationship. And what can help you is the Hierophant, your spiritual growth, your commitment to this. The Hermit is underneath. Knowing that always you hold the light, the light is within you. Nothing, even when, you know, you can feel the emotion, the strongest emotion you could be feeling of drowning, of no light, there is. It's always here. Okay, so we need to be reminded of that as we go through, again, our emotions, our transformation. Okay, so here we're seeing that there's a waiting game as well. <laughs> so patience is needed, and this is due to the planetary configurations where we have this, we are finishing also this year, 2022. And so it's a review. It's also a moment for us to get stronger internally, to get into this angel of strength. And to get to the point of, it doesn't mean you have to walk away from a situation, but to get to the point of being so strong that you could, that you don't need anyone. And that's tricky. It's not easy because when you are in a situation, we get used to the presence of another, right? And the body also, the physical, the emotional attachment can occur. And so the practice is that in the midst of this relationship, you need to always sense like you are alone and that you don't need it. You can enjoy it, but you don't need it. And it's, it's very tricky. It's not easy, this process. By the way, number 222 is all over the place. This calls also to the solstice, um, you know, on 21st of December as well. That could be significant. The astrologers are talking about a shift energetically that is going to be happening, actually, from the 21st of December to um, March 2023. And so those few months that we are, you know, starting right now, again, we went through the ecliptic season, and now it's like we are kind of being reborn into the new. But there are lingering things, addictions, dependencies, attachments, that still need to be with discipline released and then that's not easy you could be uh, faced with an addiction a dependency that is very difficult for you to release and really at the end of the day i would remind all of us here me included that when you dive into the light when you allow yourself to be the light to feel the light beyond you all is possible you can go beyond any habits, any addictions, anything, any dependency. It's again a focus, a discipline that we need to get into as we shift as well from Sagittarius to Capricorn Sun. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, has to do with discipline, with hard work, but slowly but surely slowing down by doing what needs to be done, right? So no procrastination, nothing of that matter. We need to get into that wisdom and there's no longer any excuses. So the discipline of your mind, of the focus, needs to be stronger than ever right now so that you can move higher than the emotional withdrawal. This comes from all the sacrifice, you know, that you've done, that you do so easily, easily Pisces. But you're learning that this sacrifice is not helping anyone, not yourself, not the other person. But as you refocus internally into the emperor, into your own balance, into your own masculine energy, look, spiritual union, yin and yang. You're no longer the passive feminine, and this is talking to men or women. 
the feminine that is passive, that is just allowing everything to happen to them, big victimhood. No, you get into the emperor where you take control, you take the reins of your life. And as you truly harness this power of the lion, of the independent you, of the rainbow dragon we saw at the last reading, you will see that this will transform your relationship as well and the other, but you're no longer focused on the other. You're completely involved in you. Again, not the ego like you, the presence of God within you that you have betrayed until now, that you have allowed because of too much flexibility, mutability, lack of boundaries, you have allowed this to take away your power. And perhaps you've been comparing yourself to others or there's been jealous people, you've been too concerned about others. Superficially, right? Now you are on a journey to the Four of Wands, happy family, union, ho homecoming. You are on this journey. There could be travel involved as well here. But I feel it's an inner travel here. Definitely with the 12th house, with the moon. It's very sensitive. You have to use this sensitivity for a higher cause. Not to drown, but to elevate. Okay? There could be financial constraints as well that could be worrying you. But again, this is just about patience, the waiting game. As you allow yourself to heal within and get into your power, your masculine power, that can go beyond any dependency, any toxic behaviors, and anyone around them, even if it's an intense connection, once you get into here, all is possible. Okay? So here, let's get into tarot a little bit, but you need to get into your intuition. Perhaps you are being blindfolded right now. You're not listening to your intuition. And there are fears involved here because we have a Knight of Cups. This is a lot of love. There's um, even give and take here, Six of Pentacle. But perhaps here, you, there's something that you have not been wanting to see. And this has been you denying yourself, your intuition. There's a, there's a truth here that you're not recognizing within you. And that could be the lack of feeling worthy or being independent or powerful feeling powerless when actually you're not. Needing to let your intuition guide you and a higher force to take over, Pisces. It's as simple, but it's, that's the work, the focus. Yeah, you have three of pentacle here. This is manifestation one with the, you have the black cat here. It's psychic powers. It's manifesting through your third eye, through clarity, not through the mind. Now underneath, we have all this heartbreak, this emotional <clears throat> muck. And this could be in the past, it could be right now, but this has to do truly with those emotional pains, the heart aches, I call them. And it doesn't have to be involved with a particular situation. It could just be the state of your heart. Now this is what we need to get beyond Pisces. Because Three of Pentacles is teamwork, cooperation as well. Yeah, I see that this heartache, you have an Eight of Pentacles behind with the devil in reverse. You're getting out of that state of that emotional negative patterning as you're working through your addictions to your through your um, toxic behaviors negative thinking so that you can move towards common waters with a six of sword behind 
you are working on that. And that's great, Pisces. Knowing that this is not your life. Your life is this. This is what you deserve. Okay. Yeah, the two of cups underneath. Now, it's funny because it came reverse. So that could be, that is telling me that there's a lack of belief that this can happen for you. Perhaps there have been separations, there me this and that, and you no longer believe. You no longer have the faith that this is possible for you, but here we have a Knight of Pentacles, the slowest Knight of the deck, but very grounded, very loyal, someone that is going slowly but surely with moderation, temperance. So towards this new beginning that is in reverse, this is you not taking the leap of faith. This is you being afraid. This is you overthinking things. This is, again, you not jumping in the water. Slowly but surely, the healing needs to happen, Pisces, so that you can allow yourself to believe again, like a kid, to jump into the water of love. Why are you so afraid of love? Have you not found it within you? That's the deeper question, right? Yeah, this is really coming to the twin flame. We have now, we had the emperor, now we have the empress and the moon coming through again. Okay, underneath you have the seven of sword. This has to do with, you know, self-deception, um, self deception, deceptive situations around you, a deceptive person, shady stuff happening, but it's in reverse. So are you seeing <clears throat> things? Remember, we had the illusion and reality cards that came through the last reading. Are you allowing your perception to be deceiving? Right? And that would be deceived by your subconscious fears. The, the moon it can be illusions, like we saw be before, right? Your unconscious uh, responses to triggers your inner emotions. Are you being led by this or are you getting into the Empress, which is unconditional love for herself, for the world, for all? Being at the top of her game, being in her power. Are you letting yourself get into this or <clears throat> falling into deceit, own self-deceit. Now, you're holding the light, the torch. It's dark outside, but you have the light within to find this love within. Find the faith within. But what are you escaping from? Right? More for Pisces, please. Yeah, Ace of Cups. I was telling the Ace of Cups and it came through. This unconditional love and the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Cups. <laughs> this is not for of love. This is romantic <clears throat> water energy. This is also following your heart. But Pisces, not being afraid to take action, not being afraid that it's not available for you, that the happy home, the happy family is not available for you. You need to believe again. Ace of Cups, Queen of Wands. Believe in yourself again. Once you find this power, you become the magnetic queen here. You have 
you can manifest all of it. And you attract all to you as you become this cup. As you become this cup, Pisces, you overflow. Look, it's overflowing with water. It's overabundant in a good way. It's overfilled with love. And once you're full of love and it's, you know, it overflows, it attracts only that. You are, you are only that. And that attracts a Knight of Cups. <clears throat> but you need to trust again. Slowly but surely, heal this, Pisces. Get into you. <clears throat> So that you can become a child again and live your best life. Whatever is around you. Not care, Pisces. Truly not care. Yeah. Four of Pentacles. What are you still holding on to? What are you going to leave behind? Because you're at a crossroad. This is also a two of wands. It is a twin flame energy again. So we have a lot of confirmations here. He has chosen his wand here. Someone has chosen his wand. Okay? So, what are you still holding on to? What do you need to let go right now? Internally. What is it that needs to be let go of? So that you get into this balance, even give and take. I would say, again, is getting into this power. Once you get into your full power, and what is this full power? It's your intuition. Don't deny your own intuition, your own intuitive powers, your own spiritual powers. Don't deny that. This is your truth. It's a, the queen of sword here. Knight of sword in reverse. Watch your words. Communication, again, like I said before, could be a little bit hard. There could be misunderstandings. There's someone here that is not willing to speak its truth. And that could be you, again, with the Torch that we saw before. Difficult for you to speak your truth. And this is because you are in the Eight of Swords. You're your own self-imprisonment. You're not allowing yourself to be you. To be you, Pisces. To speak your truth. Put the boundaries up. Refocus on yourself. The love within. Allow yourself to transform, Pisces, into the beautiful spiritual being that you are. This is your power. Believe again, Pisces. Have faith. It is for you. Don't give up. This is a significant reading today. There is commitment in the picture here. Yeah, Six of Cups coming through. All those childhood wounds that need to be released. Getting into wholeness, into the light. Soulmate energy. The purity of who you are. Letting go of anxiety. There could be a lot of anxiety, <clears throat> anxiousness right now. Slowing down, Pisces. Slowing down. Moderation. Yeah, and again, this Knight of Cups and Seven of Cups. <clears throat> and finishing up, Pisces, can barely talk. The Wheel of Fortune. Good luck. The Wheel is turning in your life. See it, recognize it, and be ready for it. Knight of Cups, Seven of Cups. A lot of cups here, a lot of emotions. A lot of opportunities, of dreams that you can manifest, this magician here. You can manifest all of it. Follow your heart. You can do this. And don't worry about love. Love, you become love, and it will surround you. 
in so many ways, perhaps ways that you can't even imagine at this time. Perhaps you focus on one person and you, you will see how much more love is going to come your way, more than you could ever imagine. Step into your purpose, Pisces. Step into you, okay? I love you. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.